Today, on the 23rd of April, we commemorate Blessed Teresa Maria of the Cross, who was a Carmelite nun and founder. Teresa Maria Manetti, whose nickname was Bettina, was born in Florence in Italy, daughter of Salvatore and Rosa Manetti, who came from modest social conditions. Teresa had one brother, Adamo Raffaello. She lived her entire life in her small village and had a strict and Christian upbringing. Bettina had a cheerful, energetic disposition and a talent for organization and all the qualities which make for a good leader. At the age of 21, she rented a home with two other women who dedicated themselves to a life of prayer, penance and charity. They cared for the sick and the poor and taught catechism to children. They were inspired by the writings of St. Teresa of Avila and had a special devotion to her. Many other women joined the small group. The women were admitted to the Theresian Third Order and Bettina took the new name of Teresa Maria of the Cross. Two years later, she joined the discarded Carmelites as a nun. Over the next few years, she started schools in several Italian cities each with its little group of Carmelite teachers. Her Institute of Teaching Nuns received approval from Pope St. Pius X on February 27, 1904 as the Carmelite Sisters of St. Teresa of Florence with a mission to teach and care for children, especially orphans. Like her inspiration, St. Teresa of Avila, Teresa of the Cross met with much resistance to her work with the poor much slander about her personal life and a long period of spiritual dryness. But all who met her commented on the air of joy and peace she brought to her work. She lived joyfully, body and soul, the mystery of the cross in full conformity to the will of God. Teresa Maria was outstanding for her love for the Eucharist and her maternal care for children and for the poor. Her life was motivated by a consuming love for Christ and a desire to save souls. She endeavored to live according to God's holy will and took delight in all the crosses which came through this purpose. In a prayer she wrote, To suffer, to suffer, always suffer. Do what you want with me. It's enough that I save souls for you. The daily source for her energy was her devotion to the Blessed Sacrament and to the Virgin Mary. Teresa Maria lived without gratification, instead seeking and finding peace of heart through a simple lifestyle and routine. This simplicity allowed her to quietly explore the depths of her own soul, where she continually united herself with the Lord in each aspect of her day. She died at Campi by Senzio on April 23, 1910 and was beatified on October 1986 by Pope John Paul II. Placing all our petitions before her today, let us pray. O God, by the inexhaustible grace of the Eucharist, you enable the Virgin Blessed Teresa Maria to walk the way of the cross and filled her with maternal concern for the weak and the poor. Through her intercession, may we too be strengthened by the bread of angels to share joyfully in the suffering of Christ and to participate in works of love for the establishment of your kingdom. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.